again, Hammerheads. You know, we really do live in a world of fucking shit. Don't we? Yes, we fucking do, all right. You know what, right? I've just been, I've just come back from Mal's. You know, I'm your local shop. Some beer and that, bloody blah, blah. I can spot them a mile off. Getting towards the shop, right? Getting towards the shop. I see a few young girls there. Here we go. Hey, can you go at the shop for us, please? I fucking knew it. So what I do now, I always take my mobile with us, right? And as soon as I'm approaching a shop and there's any dodgy looking kids hanging around it, it's like, I pretend I'm on the phone to somebody. That way they don't bother you. It's like, oh, we better not ask him, he's busy on the phone and that. Not that it stops him. It only happens about 3% of the time. Sure enough, gets to the shop. Can you go to the shop for us? And they always want booze. I mean, Christ, the oldest one out of this gang of girls. It's all girls. It's only ever lasses that's asked me to go in the shop and buy fucking Frosty Jacks for them or whatever the bloody shit it is the drink. It's all those lasses. And the oldest one must have been about fucking nine. Where are the parents? God, yeah, we've all drank underage and sometime in our lives. I was fucking 15 when I started drinking. Not fucking nine. Jesus Christ. I mean, this fucking place, right? Sulgrave, where I live. I mean, I live in a nice, quiet street. No trouble round here. Fuck all like that. No bother whatsoever. Full of fucking weirdos and pensioners round here. In fact, <clears throat> to get one of these flats, you have to be over the age of 35. Because years ago, well, about 10 years ago, when they modernised all these, they kicked all the riffraff out, didn't they? Yeah, pretty good to the next estate, that way or that way or over there. That fucking shithole block of fucking flats where I used to fucking live. Everyone's got a fucking pit bull or a fucking Staffordshire terrier around here. Fucking staffies and pit bulls. They don't fucking... Who the fuck would want to have a, a, a fucking pit bull? They're ugly. They're smelly. They're fucking vicious. You know what I mean? I just, I mean, I had this argument with a lad at work once. He says, um, Oh, no, that's wrong attitude to have, Trev. You shouldn't be saying things like that because um, it's how you look after... No, it's bullshit. Because any dog can turn. You had a Yorkshire Terrier, a Shih Tzu or anything. It can turn, right? And if one of them turns on you, Yorkshire Terrier or whatever... Highland Terrier, you know, he'll not bloody kill you or rip your fucking legs and arms off. But if one of them fucking turns on you, you fucking deed. Well, you end up with half a face at the very, very least. So, no, I wouldn't have one of them. The fucking horrible things, man. Oh, everyone round here's got one of them, you know, fucking pit bulls and staffies. It's fucking ridiculous. It's like, oh, look at me, I'm hard, I've got a fucking pit bull. What we fucking do, you stupid bastard? Get a fucking life. Jesus Christ. So it means no one's going to kick your head in because you've got a fucking horrible, smelly, ugly, fucking vicious bastard dog. Oh, it's not going to do much if I take me baseball back to it, is it? Then again, it'll probably fucking snap over its head. My friend better turn up tonight with some fucking good weed. He's got some nice green, so he says. Oh, anyway, that's another story. Yeah, this area, man, is fucking oh, lovely where I live. Go down there a little bit. Different kettle of fish altogether. Oh, I don't like them fucking 
horrible sayings. I like to make my own up. A different bucket of crabs, I say, or something like that, you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm off for the weekend now. No overtime tomorrow. <laughs> it's now six o'clock on a Friday. I've been in since half three. Ha <laughs> ha. And I'm fucking sick. Because my girlfriend's car's broke down and she can't come round to see me this weekend. <sighs> and she's got no money for the bus fare. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, well. One of them things, I suppose. So I can't bore it all night with... Loads of me violent horror films and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All me van video nasties. <laughs> right. You know... I was going to the shop the... I was, well, I was walking up Concord the other day. I needed some chicken to make a chicken stir fry and... Um, someone come up there is. Fucking... Couple of young little kids, you know what I mean? Seven and eight or something like that. Can I have a tab? Fucking cigarettes at that age. I never started smoking though, I was fucking 16, man. Fucking seven or eight. Uh, what's the world coming now? I was watching this documentary last night on um, current TV channel, because I don't watch fucking terrestrial TV. And he was like, I just happen to be channel hopping like you do, like I do anyway. I've got fucking thumbs are worn out. And it's not because of PS3 or texting. It's fucking channel hopping on that fucking heap of shit. And then, um, yeah, I come across the world's most dangerous drug. So I thought, well, I'll watch it. This sounds interesting. And it was about methamphetamine. Jesus, it's evil, that stuff. It's so cheap and it's easy to fucking make. He was sending everyone fucking mental. The teeth were falling out. There only there was one bloke. He was only twenty-seven. He looked about fucking fifty. Fucking sunken in eye, fucking near teeth and all that. And then um, in Thailand, the fucking factory bosses are giving it to the staff to make them do extra shifts because it oh makes you dead eye there and you're invincible. You can do anything and all this. Fucking hell! After seeing that documentary, you wouldn't even. Go to sleep and even dream about dabbling in that shit. Fuck me. Mm -mm. I mean, I like a bit of smoke. Fair enough. And I've dabbled in cocaine in the past and speed and fucking acid and mushroom. Hey, God, I've done a few thousand mushrooms in my time during the 80s, mind. But that's all in the past now. I smoke because it gives me inspiration. Especially when I'm writing. Mm. Or when I'm composing music. I haven't got my keyboards anymore. I gave them away, didn't I? Oh. How stupid am I? I was a really... I was a wizard and all, you know. My elaborate keyboard setup was quite good. Well, I've got some songs downloaded on YouTube on my channel. <laughs> They're not for everybody, though. <laughs> I mean, God, it's razor blade time, you know what I mean? But I don't like love songs and happy songs, you know what I mean? Oh, look at me. I'm going off on another tangent. Oh! Oh, no. Hmm. <laughs> supposed to be talking about the sh shit state of the fucking crappy bastard world, aren't we? Eh, all these documentaries don't help what I watch. They don't exactly cheer me up. They make me think, God, how fucking lucky am I? You know, I'm not a down and out fucking bum like that lot. There's another thing last night on telly. Flitting from channel to channel, you know, on the adverts, come on on that. About these kids being locked up and that. And, oh, what a bunch of fucking cunts. Mm. What is the world coming to? You know, everyone says that, don't they? What's the world coming to? Truth is, the world's always been a shitty fucking place. It's always been crap. Since the dawn of fucking time, everybody and everything is fought against each other. Most of the time, in the early days, it was like for survival. 
but even in prehistoric times, cavemen used to kill woolly mammoths just for sport. They didn't eat them. Oh, there's been scientific evidence unfucking veiled about that. Because, you know, well, scientists. I'm a very scientific person, you know, and we've always done it, man. I mean, right, fair enough. Football hooliganism, hooliganism, <laughs> hasn't always existed. It, well, probably the back end of the 60s and, you know, onwards. But, you know, in them days, you know, in the, in the um, 70s and that, and, and, and well, before that, because that's when everyone started fucking killing each other because of it. But in the, um, you know, in the 50s and all that, and, phew, the, 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 it used to be a nice family day out. You didn't even have separate terraces back then, for God's sake. I mean, I don't like football, I don't give a shit about it. Too much fucking money involved, and, you know, too many bloody overseas players. I mean, is there any English players left in English clubs? Not many. About well, 2% or something. It's always existed. Hatred for each other. We hate each other. Don't ask me why. It's just a fact of fucking life. I mean, 2,000 years ago, fucking people killing each other over religion. It's still going on now. I mean, it'll always go on. Until we kill each other off. I mean, one day, if a meteor doesn't wipe us all out, Fucking some idiot is going to press the fucking button and cause World War Three, And then we're all fucked. We're all deed. You know what I mean? Deed as Dillinger. Yep. Yeah. I mean, banging on about gun crime the last few years. Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Kids with guns. Kids with guns. Bang, bang, bang. Shooting each other. Oh, uh, the lottery wars and that down London. It's always been like that, man. I mean, in the 50s, right? <clears throat> in the late 40s and most of the 50s, children used to take the guns to school and fucking swap them with each other. Just like I did with top trump cards and Doctor Who fucking stickers and all that. But, you know, it's always there. I mean, it was there then. I mean, fucking kids were running around with guns back then. Guns and knives and all the rest of it. It's just the population has grown, that's all. It just seems worse, doesn't it? Violence, fucking kids running amok. I mean, God, when I was a kid, if I was cheeky to were grown up in the street, he'd come over and fucking smack us one, you know. There was no lawsuits then, you oh, I'm taking you to court. Yeah, you couldn't do that then. The coppers would just laugh you. Laugh at them on fucking pit, kick them out of the police station. Oh, go away. You know what I mean? You probably deserved it, you little twat. I thought the fucking said to you, but now it's like, oh, he breathed in the wrong direction just because I called him a horrible little cunt. So you got in court and you get fined, don't you? It's a fucking joke. The fucking justice system nowadays, man. Fucking, all these fucking kids fucking drinking fucking extra strong fucking cider and that frosty fucking Jackson. What are they going to be like ten years from now? They're going to be fucking pinching cars, mugging fucking old women, raving God knows who else. Murdering people just because you looked at them in the wrong way or something. Or you farted too loudly. It's a fucking joke, man. I fucking always go out. Every time I go out now, right, I prepare myself for the worst. And that's the best way to be. I know it sounds a bit harsh and, you know, <laughs> that's reality though. If you go out prepare yourself for the worst, it's like... You're prepared, you're expecting it. So, like, you know... I'm, I don't carry weapons anymore. I used to. Oh God, when I was in my twenties and that. Fucking nunchucks, fuck you name it. Took down my sleeve, like down my um, inside pocket and my fucking overcoat and that. Someone says the wrong thing to me or there's a 
about two or three of them, pull them out. And that's it, they all scarver. I wouldn't do that now because someone will pull the sword off out and blow me away. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's reality. Yep. We're all mourning about the state of the world and the justice system, this, that, the other thing. We're the ones who created it. Mankind. We can sit here and bellyache all we want, but we are the creators. Hmm. Yeah. Battering pensioners to death just to pinch the fish suppers off them and stuff like that. And that happened not that long ago in fucking Newcastle or somewhere anyway over there. Yeah. Probably be out in a couple of years. Yeah, the craze, they get locked up for fucking life until both of them die in prison. Who did the craze kill? They killed, well, Jack the Hat. Scum of the earth. He broke his girlfriend's back and he was just a fucking waste of space. And they killed George Cornell. He was just a horrible, sadistic bully who didn't deserve to fucking live. So they get locked up forever for doing that. Nowadays, some kid fucking shoots another kid. Right, you're in prison for 12. You'll be out in the seven. What kind of justice is that? Where's the fucking logic? You know what I mean? Of course, I'm talking about when we were under labour. Then we're a lot strict. More strict. Hmm. His Tory government now, they're even halving prison sentences for very, very violent criminals. Oh, that makes sense, doesn't it? Not. But David Cameron's a fucking tit. I hate him, he's a fucking idiot. I tell you what, he signed his own death warrant, him. Fucking crushing the NHS like he's doing. Anyway, I'm not going into that. You're probably sick of hearing about it by now. <laughs> How many videos have I slated him? Uh, hey, forget about it. I'm going now, Hammerheads. I'll be sat here all night fucking mourning about this shit. <laughs> Goodbye, Hammerheads.